in in physics many new ideas have come from observing nature very closely the, the, this thinking capability comes from giving a little bit of astonishment to the children child which it is not used to when the teacher reads from a book or gives a problem on the uh, uh, on the board he repeats from what has been written down before by somebody okay but when you do an experiment with the agastya uh, mobile lab the child gets its impression that yes i can also do this see you take a magnet throw it down and break it it becomes different magnets okay how does it happen so now you ask the question is there a small smallest part of that magnet which will still have this magnetic property okay so when the, if the child asks that question then you can say the final analysis each magnetic property comes from a single atom okay then they may ask the question what is the atom how do you get at it then you can talk of electron microscope you can talk of various other means by which you can uh, make the you can you can study the atom And no the, i know I, we are not saying that agastya is the place where we discover magic the point is agastya is trying to propagate the idea that beyond what you see in our immediate surroundings and immediate uh, availability there is something more which you can do if you appreciate the rational thinking and the creativity that is in, inherent in you that is not available in the normal school the creativity in man is not related to where he studies but how he has been brought up whether he has the freedom to ask questions get answers and think for himself new on new ways of doing things for example physics says that look nature's laws must be discovered with ample proof and once you discover a law it is universally applicable the newton's laws of motion is universally applicable not only in in atmosphere in, 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 the, in this planet but also in space electromagnetism is universally applicable and therefore there is some attraction to join the band which sort of ask questions which you can learn from nature find the right answers this is what motivated me later on in agastya you take a, a rural child that is not prejudice to start with it has an open mind and therefore if you give it the right environment right examples of what scientists have discovered then of course you stimulate its thinking and that is why finally at this ripe old age i thought that uh, we should do something to take science to the children in the rural sector normal school you go 10 o'clock come back at 4 o'clock uh, you do all those problems or whatever problem is given or oh, then send worry about how many marks i will get take, take the stupidity what difference does it make between 93.5 marks and 94 marks percentage in fact they if you see the children now arguing out oh he got uh, 0.1% more therefore he got admission i didn't get it isn't it <coughs> so we have been led to this uh, inordinate or uh, i'd say unreal situations in which we are not really looking at the creativity of the child for a profession but on how hard he can work all these things will have an effect over a period of time
it can't be judged by just one year you do this thing and you are completely changed. If at Kuppam and surroundings of Kuppam, we consistently use the technique for the next five or six years, then you will find the parents, the teachers and the children start loving Agastya's method. The magnitude of this is one thing. The second thing is the quality of the improvement. Okay? Agastya cannot say that in magnitude wise we will spread all over the world. No. That is too much to say. But if we set up examples how more effectively we can deal with the rural children and their problems, then we would have shown a model and this model can then grow. That's exactly what is happening. From one or two uh, mobile vans, now we have gone to some 25 or 30 mobile vans. From one district, we have gone to several districts in um, few states. And therefore, it shows progress. So we have a whole population who cannot be employed. So if you want to change that, you say there are avenues for doing a better job. Even a farmer, if he knows how fertilizer helps, how what is the importance of water, how much water is really required, he doesn't see the distinction between a flood and a normal rain. So this is where I still feel that Agastya is the, probably the first organization in which those who can afford have put in their money and made it, take it to the village so that we give them a different concept of what the, our surroundings are. I am not saying that they are all going to become scientists. That is not the purpose. The purpose is that rational thinking, ability to stimulate their rational thinking and how to conduct themselves in a society so that they can bring prosperity to the nation as a whole.